Many of us have heard of the Dutch venture Mars One, which aims to establish a human colony on Mars by the year 2027 and have selected 100 people out of the more than 200,000 candidates. So is Mars really inhabitable? Well, it's complicated. If the entire Earth were to explore tomorrow and all life forms on Earth were to look for an alternative accommodation, then yes, Mars is the next best alternative available. After Earth, Mars is definitely the most habitable planet in the solar system for the Earthlings due to several reasons. Number one, its soil contains water to extract. Number two, its climate is reasonably suitable. That is, it's neither too hot nor too cold if you compare it to some other planets. Number three, there is enough sunlight available in Mars. Number four, although it is a thin one, Mars has a layer of atmosphere that would protect us from the sun's radiation. Number five is the gravity levels on Mars is around 38% of that on Earth, which is considered adequate for us to be able to adapt to. And the sixth and the last reason is that its day cycle is similar to that of Earth's. A Mars day would last for 24 hours and 39 minutes. As they say, everything is relative. While we will have our share of problems on Mars, it would still be a paradise if we were to compare it to other planets, say Venus for instance. We would be toast within seconds on Venus where the average temperature is 400 degrees Celsius. As if that's not enough, other issues that make it uninhabitable are that its barometric pressure is equivalent to 900 meters underwater on Earth occasional bouts of acid rain and a night that can last around 120 days of Earth's time. Scientists believe that Mars was much more inhabitable a few billion years ago. Whether it did have life or not has not been proven conclusively. Apparently, Mars had a much stronger magnetic field that protected it from ionizing radiation. This got significantly eroded around 3.5 billion years ago when impacts within the solar system was pretty common. The thick atmosphere cover that Mars had also got severely depleted. Scientists are still in the process of finding out more about Mars, its past history and the potential for future habitability. The most comprehensive mission was NASA's Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution or MAVEN spacecraft. MAVEN has been studying Mars and its atmosphere since September 2014. One of MAVEN's findings is that three factors were primarily responsible for the severe loss of atmosphere on Mars. Solar winds, extreme ultraviolet photons from the sun, and most importantly, solar storm events. There is still atmosphere in Mars, but it is getting depleted at the rate of 100 grams per second. Fairly little, you may say, but a significant amount over time. The MAVEN mission is expected to continue for a few more years. We are likely to be more enlightened about Mars history and the potential future with additional missions like the European ExoMars rover or NASA's 2020 Mars rover followed by the manned missions in the 2030s. So if you are thinking about enrolling for the next human settlement on Mars as one of its first property owners, Think again, or probably wait till we have clearer answers from all these missions. I hope you found this information interesting and request you to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you soon in some other video. Thanks for watching.